Imagine that two galaxies are moving apart due to the expansion of the universe. Let's call them A and B. The co-moving distance between the galaxies is R sub AB. At time T sub emit, galaxy B emits a photon of wavelength lambda sub emit in the direction of galaxy A. The expansion of the universe causes the wavelength of the photon to increase, and thus its color to shift to the red end of the spectrum. At time T sub observed, the photon is observed in galaxy A with wavelength lambda sub observed. Note that the scale factor of the universe has increased from A of T sub emit to A of T sub observed during the photon's trip. We can quantify the change in wavelength with the redshift parameter Z defined as the observed wavelength divided by the emitted wavelength minus 1. We want to derive a relationship between the redshift parameter and the scale factor at the beginning and end of the photon's trip. To do this, we set up a co-moving coordinate system centered on A such that A and B lie on the x-axis. The corresponding spherical coordinates of A and B are shown. Note that the photon travels on a path with theta equals pi over 2 and phi equals 0, so that the change in angular coordinates of the photon during the trip is 0. Let's write the metric of a homogeneous and isotropic expanding universe, also called the Robertson-Walker metric. Here, lowercase r, theta, and phi are the co-moving spherical coordinates. Capital R is the radius of the universe, A is the scale factor, T is the cosmic time, and kappa is negative 1 if the universe is negatively curved, 0 if the universe is flat, and plus 1 if the universe is positively curved. We only care about the metric along the photon's path, so set d theta and d phi equal to 0. Note that this gets rid of the dependence on curvature. Similarly, set ds equal to 0, since photons travel along light-like, or null, paths. We can solve the above equation for dr. dr is the co-moving distance that the photon travels in a time dt. Let's think of the photon as a wave, instead of as a particle. In particular, let's focus on two successive crests, which we will call crest 1 and crest 2. Suppose crest 1 passes a point in space at time t. Then crest 2 passes that same point at a time t plus the period of the wave, which we symbolize by uppercase t. Since the period of a wave is 1 over its frequency, and the frequency is the speed of light over the wavelength, it must be the case that crest 2 crosses the point at a time lambda over c after crest 1. In particular, crest 2 is emitted at a time lambda sub emit over c after crest 1 is emitted, and crest 2 is observed a time lambda sub observed divided by c after crest 1 is observed. We can follow each crest from emission to observation. Let's integrate the equation at the top of the screen along the trajectory of both crests. Note that the integral over dr is just the total co-moving distance between the galaxies, which by definition does not change as the universe expands. The negative sign comes from the fact that the photon is moving in the negative r direction. Thus, the integral over c dt over a is the same for both crests, and we can set them equal. We can cancel the speed of light since it occurs on both sides of the equation. Let's add an integral to both sides. We can combine the integrals on both sides of the equation. Note that the integrals on each side of the equation are over a single period of the photon. A typical period of a photon is around 10 to the negative 14 seconds. Since this is incredibly short compared to the time scales on which the scale factor changes, we can pretend that the scale factor is constant and take it out of the integral. Note that the scale factor on the left hand side has been evaluated at t sub emit since the integral on that side is over the period during emission of the photon. Similarly, the scale factor on the right hand side has been evaluated at t sub observed. The integral is now trivial to do. We can rearrange terms to get a relation between the scale factor of the universe and wavelength of the photon at the beginning and ending of the photon's trip. This relation simply says that the wavelength of the photon increases by the same factor that the size of the universe increases. We can get our desired relation by subtracting 1 and using the definition of the redshift parameter.